Okay, hello YouTube. Uh, this is the Canadian Greek uh, coming at you uh, with um, this installment. It's going to be called um, Comet uh, Siding Spring and Planet X. I've um, been running into some information that I think has been um, intriguing, uh, interesting to me. Um, so I thought I'd uh, make this video and um, let you guys know what um, what I'm up to these days. Uh, let's start with Siding Spring. Um, common sighting spring obviously is uh, was slated to be um, passing very close to Mars um, this fall. Um, before we go to that diagram here, let's have a look here. Um, how big is the comet? Um, it was discovered by Robert McNaught on January 3rd, 2013, um, with the 20 Schmidt telescope. At uh, Siding Spring Observatory, like other comets discovered using equipment at uh, Siding Spring Observatory, this comet uh, in, informally became known as Comet Siding Spring. Its official designation uh, was C2013A1, as uh, the comet's naming convention indicates. Uh, C2013A1 was the first long period comet discovered in 2013. Um, okay. Uh, here we go. The orbit of Comet Siding Spring uh, has not been definitely determined. Astrophysicists at JPL say they could wiggle. There, there could be wiggle room either way. Uh, the comet could arrive an hour earlier or an hour later, meaning the possibility of uh, the comet uh, Siding Spring hitting Mars was not entirely, uh, or has not entirely, been ruled out by NASA who initially gave it a 1 in 600 chance of hitting the red planet. As a physicist at NASA said, since the impact probability is currently less than 1 in 600, future observations are expected to provide data that will completely rule out a Mars impact on April uh, 15, 2013. Uh, when the rest of us were paying taxes, NASA released its update calcul updated calculations um, there is now only a 1 in 120,000 chance in Comet Siding Spring will, will hit Mars on October the 19th of 2014 when it's, stated, when it's slated to go by Mars. Um, however, the comet's nucleus is estimated to be between 9 and 31 miles, that's 15 to 50 kilometers wide. Uh, so compared to ISON, if you believe NASA, this thing's a monster. Uh, the explosion would release billions of megatons of energy. Uh, for reference, the atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki, Japan, at the end of World War II was 0 0.023 megatons, and uh, the 1908 airburst over the Tanguska River in Siberia was 4 megatons, um, and that leveled um, a lot of land, a lot of trees uh, were destroyed. Uh, was just uh, that was just a meteor outburst, by the way. Uh, that wasn't a comet that uh, slammed. But um, however, um, is there any danger if comet sighting if, if comet uh, sighting springs does hit Mars? Um, is there a chance of any ejecta or any um, ejected material from the surface of Mars hitting Earth? Um, there's always a possibility, depending on, depending on where um, the impact takes place, but um, I wouldn't worry about that too much right now. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'm getting a lot of information uh, that's conflicting, so we'll just have to keep an eye on that for the time being. Okay, um, I'll, leave, I'll leave a link for this article here um, underneath, um, underneath the video. If you, uh, if you guys want to have a look at it and um, do some of your own research on what this comet has to offer. However, I ran into some other information um, and uh, this goes to uh, Courageous Nerds. Okay, They put out a video that I found very interesting um, because I too have done um, my own research on Planet X and according to Courageous Nerds, they've come across information from a particular astronomer. Um, I will leave um, a link to this video as well for you guys to go and check out yourselves. But uh, according to this video, well, let's just play this a little bit.
review is coming in August, yet the cover-up continues. August is the date that's interesting. Hello, my name is Dr. Kaplan, and I'm a professor at the University of Texas at Austin in the Astronomy Department. Well, actually, I'm not going to play this. Uh, if you guys want to watch this video, um, you guys can go ahead. I'm just giving you, I'm going to leave a link for this for you guys to go and have a look at. What's really interesting about this is the date. Um, let's have a look here. I too have put out three videos on Planet X uh, five months ago. Okay, Planet X Nibiru update parts one, two, and three final. Okay, go have a look at them if you haven't seen them. Uh, someone asked me if uh, if I had a date, and I do, but I my date coincides based on the last information that I have or that I had at that time. Um, I, I guesstimated, and that's a guess by the way, I estimated at August or September of 2016 based on the distance um, that it was from the sun at that time and the speed that it was traveling. Um, any information that I had put, puts my estimation at August, September of 2016. But the August date is obviously very interesting because now we're getting uh, information or that this information has come to light um, I don't know how I'm not gonna either ratify or I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna endorse or put this video down because I'm still in the midst of I'm still in the research phase uh, I'm still researching what this has to say I'm still researching what this video has to say but I find it very interesting that the, the date that comes out is in late August okay uh, and with my with in, with information that I had previous, uh, this would be five months ago when I made these when I made these videos, I came up with the same time frame, um, basically, uh, but except two years later. Uh, they're saying that it's coming this August. I say that 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 we are not going to be in any jeopardy from Planet X or Nemesis, our sister star, for another couple of years. Now, however. Um, Anyways, I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to elaborate a little further on that, maybe perhaps in the next video. Uh, but I just found that very interesting. Uh, so I'll leave you a link for this as well as a siding spring for you guys to go and have a look at it yourselves. But that that in, that date itself has got me my curiosity peaked, and now I've got some I've got some more research to do. Um, by the way, in case you have been wondering, um, somebody also asked me. If I'm okay, um, one of my subscribers, because of these recent um, earthquakes that have been taking place here, uh, one of them was a six-pointer, uh, six point four, I think. Yeah, uh, where is it? Anyway, it was a six point four. It was it was it was a pretty big earthquake. Um, so, yeah, I'm okay. If you guys remember, I don't live here. Um, let's see. That was a 6.1. Um, I live up here, so I'm uh, pretty far away from it, uh, at least 500 kilometers away from where this took place. But the fact that there's a swarm of earthquakes happening here um, is cause for concern. Um, however, anyways, um, I'll be keeping an eye on everything for you guys. If uh, if I come up with any, if anybody, if you if you guys haven't seen my Nibiru series, okay, my Planet X Nibiru updates, parts one, two, and three, go and have a look at them. And that way you'll, you'll have some idea as to how I came up with my um, my estimation as to the time frame of why I say 2016, 26, uh, August, September of 2016, uh, maybe sooner, I mean, I can't really say because I, I don't have the exact speeds um, that, um, that is traveling at okay planet X or if you want to call it nemesis or, or sister star I do believe we're in a binary system okay I don't think that um, well anyways uh, go and have a look at the videos and you'll understand what I'm talking about okay but anyways um, that's it for now this inter this video is very interesting um, it piqued my curiosity um, I, if this professor really is missing, I hope he's fine. Um, I don't know what's going on. 
but uh, I've got some research to do and I've got some work cut out for me for the time being. That's it for now. This is the Canadian Greek. I'm out.